that I'm going to say is Ephesians 5.1. Hi, sweetie. It says, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love just as Christ also loved you. Yeah. <laughs> and gave himself up for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. That's who he, that's what he did, and that's who he is to us. So the first reason we should imitate Jesus is for his compassion and kindness. Jesus was so compassionate and so kind. The Bible talks about, you know, the times we go around preaching and talking to people. And a lot of times the children would come to him, and they want to, like, play or do what y'all do. And some of the disciples want to shoot them away. Like, go away. Like, Jesus, they're bothering you. And Jesus would always say, let the children come, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to you. Like, he loves you guys. He loves how loud you get, and the things you like, and all the things. Jesus loves that about you. He's compassionate. He's kind. He would always go around healing the sick. So that's a, that's a great thing that we can imitate, his compassion and his kindness. Number two, we can imitate his forgiveness. He was always forgiven, even when he went to the cross, and he died for our sins. Even before he died, he said, forgive them, but they don't know what they're doing. So we should be like Jesus. When your brother steals your toy and you're mad, guess what you should do? Be like him. Be like him, right? Forgive him. Have forgiveness in your heart. Okay. Look, people are going to do lots of things. Your classmates, sometimes your parents may make you upset. But you should be like Jesus. Imitate him in his forgiveness, right? Um, and number number four, truth and integrity, right? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He was true about everything. Everything he says is true. He doesn't lie. He always tells us the truth. And in this day and age, sometimes you hear, you hear lots of information, and you don't know if it's true or not. You know, some people may believe this, believe that, but I want you guys to always know that Jesus will always tell you the truth. So copy his word and what he said, and copy others who speak like him, right? To walk in truth and integrity. And number five, let's imitate Jesus and his wisdom. Jesus was like the wisest ever, right? He was always wise in what he did, and the Bible says that if any of us lack wisdom, sometimes we need wisdom when we're doing our schoolwork, right? Anyone? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're not sure what to do, but you should imitate Jesus. Like, let me be like Jesus. What would he do? Oh, you can ask him for help. I did that in school. All the time I would pray for wisdom. So you can be like Jesus and pray for wisdom. And you know, I was talking about this. Nathaniel, when I was telling him um, that I was going to talk, he was like, tell him about Solomon too. He's the wisest man that ever lived. So you can be like Jesus. You can be like Solomon. You can imitate people who walk in wisdom. And then number five, we should imitate Jesus, his love and his sacrifice. Right? You know that Jesus went to the cross. Have you, you've all heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. He went to the cross. His love took him to the cross because he loved you so much that he died on the cross. Oh, do you want to hug him? Yeah, me too. He died on the cross for you. Everything bad you've ever done and will ever do. Instead of you, you know, when you go to timeout or you get in trouble, you get in big trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jesus, for all the things we do, the Bible says the wages of sin is actually death. That's what we deserve. When we do bad, we should have the consequences. But Jesus is like, no, no, no. I love them so much that I'm going to come in their place. And I'm going to die on the cross. I'm going to take up all of their sins and everything bad they've ever done. And I'm, I will die on the cross and take it all for them. So you don't have to, right? Isn't that cool? Doesn't that deserve someone who we, we should imitate, be like, um, and be our hero? Because his love and his sacrifice, the Bible says that greater love has no one than this, than he who would lay his life down for his friend. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He laid his life down for you and for me. And that's why he's my hero. Yeah, Jesus. That's why he's my hero. Can we all say Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. So anyone want Jesus to be their hero? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah? Okay, so we're going to say a prayer now. We're going to ask Jesus to be 
our hero. And maybe you don't know him or you've heard of him, you talk about him, but you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't really get it fully. Sometimes we just have to pray and ask Jesus in our heart and ask him to say, and say, show me who you are, Jesus. I want to know who you are, right? So I'm going to lead you in a prayer. So you just repeat after me and pray it from your heart, okay? Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for loving me so much. I just want to say today that I put all my faith and trust in you. I ask that you would be my hero today and for the rest of my life. Amen. Oh!